I want to make sure that we have everything. What we didn't do yet is we did not start planting food. So let's do that. We're going to put some uh, crops down here. We're going to put some carrots down. Tree size hugger. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Maybe come back later. So these guys actually talk to each other, which is really cool. Oh, and look, here's the mushroom guys. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games of Kicks and welcome to a new game called Community Inc. Community Inc. is developed by Tiny Build. It's currently in very early alpha stage. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to Tiny Build's website uh, where you see all the instructions how to get your hands on the game. Now, as I said, it's very early alpha. Community Inc. is a village building management simulator game in which you have to run a community of links, as they call them, to make them build different things, farm, food. But not only that, you also have to protect like a portal or something. It's all about controlling a portal that different factions can use. And there's up to eight different factions that you can interact with, which also adds diplomacy to the game. So you can do trade contracts, agreements, and r some races hate other races. So you have to be careful how you deal with them. It's very, very exciting. It's quite in depth, actually for its early stage we're gonna have a look at it i hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started oh a new employee welcome to community Inc. choose how you want to start your new community remember keep the links happy yes you workers if they're happy they will work better and will help power our portals you have 30 days to complete all goals of our company but you can just continue playing after that so happiness powers portals Laughter and screams of terror power cities. The name of our village will be Nipplebutt. Whoever lives in Nipple Nipplebutt and grows up in Nipplebutt is tough, marked scarred for life, and ready for the big world. Hello, boss. You are allocated to take care of a new community for our company. No problem. You have 30 days to complete all objectives for our company. Check, then you pause the game. Okay. Make your workers happy, or they can do bad things to the community. Yeah, like go insane, destroy things, set the place on fire. All happened to me when I play-tested play this. There will be several contracts that will come from other creatures. Choose wisely. Portals will be used to transport new links and also can be used by other races for trading or fighting. Now let's get to work. Or you can just continue after 30 days. It's up to you to decide. Good luck. You get your links, as you call them. So you basically have money that costs 50 quid every time to get a link. And when you get a link, so we let's get one. Let's start the time. Press one. That's the first thing you're going to do. You're basically in your first hour now of your first day. In the first month, you have a little calendar here. You can see the weather coming up. You want to make sure that when it starts raining and gets really cold, you have something for the guys to live. But you have to survive until then. You can see their mood. You can see their uh, if how hot they are. This guy is very hot very good looking fella then we have um, education how education the link is also sets its maximum level of all professions and the happiness of course and health now when they get unhappy they start things like setting fires or start arguments with people breaking things it's not very good when your link first starts he has a profession so let's look at his inventory page here for a second so he has all the stats here that we said each link comes with three attributes they're always the same combat which it says that calculates how much health points it has and how much melee damage it can have, it can give. Well, he or she, a link, um, act as a variable for everything that needs management and thinking, crafting, working. So I just put everything in there in the beginning. <laughs> the will calculates how much it can resist to sickness and cold. Then they have traits. Traits are basically completely randomly chosen. Yeah. So there can be a lot of things. In this case, it's manager. They can become real good traders and will receive better deals, can sell more and receive more for the product. They have other things where somebody's really good at gathering, somebody's really good at medicine, doctors, you get the gist of it. You want to get this guy a different job. So they can all have five professions, but only one active at the one time. We have tools already in the beginning because each profession requires a different tool. So let's go, like they can see, Lumberjack requires an axe, a miner requires a pickaxe, a farmer requires a hoe, uh, requires a shovel, a herbalist. So they give you some tools right off the bat. We want to make this guy our first guy, a lumberjack, because we need to get wood, <laughs> like any other game that goes around. So he goes to the ca little carriage, he's gonna get his axe, and now we're gonna need to tell him, hey, go chop wood, okay? And chop this wood and chop this tree. So let's chop the trees all around the closest vicinity first. There we go. 
we want to gather another link. It's gonna cost us another 50 gold coins. We have 500 left now, and you have to pay these guys a salary. So every month you have to pay them. So don't spend all your money. We have two workbenches that we're going to set down actually in a second. We can we might as well actually set it down right now. So the workbench allows you to craft things like uh, wood plates, stone bricks, taking the resources basically and turning them into other resources. You can use them for building and crafting. So let them just do their thing. He's our builder. Why do we wait for that? Because our food is not indefinite. So we get messages as well. As they use their professions and lumberjacking and all that stuff, they're gonna level up. So you can see they already leveled up. Cloud Hammer already leveled up. So this guy, our first guy we got, leveled up several times, <laughs> three times, and he has six attribute points to spend. In the beginning, because I need to get to a good start, I'm just gonna dump it all in here. I really don't care. X is very good crafting and working. Very good. Let's just dump it all in there. Yeah, become a workhorse, horse, a work ho, a workhorse, you know, and all the jazz. Now here we have our list of links. You can see the other one is a builder, and he hasn't leveled up yet. And you can set also gathering priorities. So if you're short on a very, on a, ve on a very specific resource, you can say, hey, gather this now, stones now, baby. Now your second profession, dude, is going to be a miner. So there you go, he just gathered some wood, but he's also now a miner. So now we get another Ling, who's gonna become our other profession, which is gonna be a farmer, because we need a farmer to get our food stock raised. But uh, he's a plant lover, they will produce potions faster, and also will be able to work on plants much better. That is good, so we probably should make him actually our herbalist. Yes. That's a good idea. So we make him our herbalist because they work with plants. A herbalist needs a shovel where there is one. Very good. Come on, let's go and let's get one more. Now let's see what his traits are. Links to straight receive more experience while working and not fighting. Very good. So we're gonna make you then our farmer. There you go. Very good. Now we have a farmer. We have a herbalist or herbalist as we say in Europe. We actually say the H it does exist now vocabulary. So it's not a herby, it's a herby. Here's our first contract. Make 10 wood barrels. I actually don't know if I can do that. The thing is that if you take this, and then you, you don't know how to do it, you can fail. And right now I can't stop to look at our inventory how to make those barrels. But it's $500, and we have 10 minutes to do it. You know what, screw it. We, it's a lot of money. Oh, damn it. No, let's refuse it. Okay, let's refuse it, let's pause the game, and let's see what actually would have been needed to make wood barrels. We probably should put the other workbench down as well. So, why don't we put these two workbenches down together, right here. And we also, before I forget it guys, I'll talk about it in a second. They like to set things on fire, okay? And things do go on fire. So what we want to do is we want to quickly check how we can make a well. Oh, look at this, wood barrels. Oh, we need wood plants, fire plants, iron ore. Oh, I'm glad I said no to that because holy balls. Oh, we need wood plates, stone bricks, fiber plants and iron ore. And we need a level three builder. So we want to get, we need a well really quickly. So we definitely want to get another Ling and we want to leave him to be just a builder. We give him a, give him a new profession. We're going to make him a guard as well. There we go. But we're not going to switch over to the guard. We're going to have him stay a builder. So he's just gonna probably get the guard stuff because we will get attacked by random critters and by other uh, factions Which brings me to the factions actually So if you look here at the trade and diplomacy screen, you can see the different factions the blue fox the mush face The sharp eagles the dragon knights the stone golems the magic oak the dark panthers and the orcon now I know for a fact already these guys don't like each other because they tell you that in the tutorial they say hey stone golems they don't like magic orcs so when you do contracts for these guys you piss these guys off and vice versa and sometimes they even ask you to kill some of them you know just why not you know population control but these guys also don't like each other I noticed that when I the very first time played it and this guy gave me contract and I gave him some wood <laughs> and um, mush face was like stop Stop helping them, okay? We don't like them. And then our uh, popularity went down with them. Look at that! Over there is Mr. Magic Orc or whatever they're called. What are they called again? They are called a Magic Oak. Look at this guy. Awesome. I don't know what he's smoking, but he's having a good time. It's called the bubbles coming out of his head. He's like a gigantic tree size hugger. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, maybe come back later. So these guys actually talk to each other, which is really cool. Oh, and look, here's the mushroom guys. 
There we go. Look at that. He is... Oh, he's... They're all smoking. He has a little sachet or whatever, like a little bag. Oh, look at that. You have a little baggy. That is awesome. And they basically could do their own things. They go the merry way. And sometimes, for some reason, they attack you. So that's why you want the guard. Um, we also need to pause the game for a second. And let me get my bearings because I want to make sure that we have everything. What we didn't do yet is we did not start planting food. So let's do that. We're going to put some uh, crops down here. We're going to put some carrots down. And we're going to plant some... Ah, yeah, let's... Oh, what happened? Okay, it was a bit of lag. Give me fright. I thought I died. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. And now our farmer... No problem. I don't want any trouble. I want to trade. No problem. Go ahead. Very good. And then what are these guys saying? Yes, makes me really happy. Always nice to have lunch. Ah, oh, these guys are enjoying lunch. It's like 6 o'clock in the evening and they're having lunch. Very good. Love it. Oh, look at that. There's the blue fox. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I'm gonna put you in my pocket and I'm gonna name you Sam. <laughs> or Charlie. No, Charlie or Sam. I don't know. Charlie's usually someone that's a bit dim. So I'm gonna name him Charlie. He looks like a Charlie. Yes. What do you want? Oh, don't be annoying my people now. Oh, look at that. He's really happy. New job level. Wow. Okay, so let's pause the game and let's actually see. We have to level up some guys. So we have here our guard as well. So what we want to do is with him, I want to go full combat. Yeah. And work-wise, I'm not really to fuss what he does. And then we want to level up our guy here. Yeah, a little bit more here. Maybe... Yeah, give him, give him some resistance to sickness because we don't want them to get sick because it will get bad weather at some point. So let's mix it up a little bit. Excellent. Okay. So now let's go through our resources and see what we need. Here we go. We're making some stone plants and some wood plants and we don't have any earth leaf. And the reason we don't have any earth leaf is earth leaf. That was confusing me for the longest time. Earth leaf comes from cotton. Would you believe it? And when I put a cotton plant uh, uh, thing down here, I was like, okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna plant some cotton then. And I got that from the forums because nobody could figure that out. And, um, well, some people are smart, intelligent, I suppose. So I'm gonna put that over here, actually. Um, or, well, put it beside it, but a little bit of space. So this here is our cotton farm. And I'm gonna plant two down straight away. Now, this is not done by your farmer. This is actually done by your herbalist. So, and you also wanna make sure that forage you have selected things like these guys, these flowers and these pumpkins. So your farmer will go out there. Then the flowers and some rocks. We actually forgot to select some things. There we go. And there's some cotton. Here's some cotton and here's some cotton. Very good. And it's all ready for the taking. So you want to get as quickly as possible the cotton to your base. There you go. There's another bit of cotton. We're doing all right. Okay. If you want to build a building, you need roof tiles. Roof tiles are the next kind of step where it gets a little bit awkward, which introduces you to leveling up your guys from one profession to another, another, where you actually give them a second, not a secondary, but it's like a higher ranking level profession. So you, these guys here, when you give them their profession, this is like the normal professions here on that side. But then you can turn a, a lumberjack into a carpenter when he's at level two. And a carpenter then can do other things in the crafting menu. But actually what we want to do also, we want to make sure our guys have weapons. Because I don't want to die to some random attack again. It does happen. So what I want to do is I want to see what a guard needs. So if I give them all a secondary profession of guard, for example. It requires a wood sword. So why don't we go here straight away into our crafting bench and make a couple of wood swords. Combat. There we go. Oh, look at that. We actually got some armor. Nice. But we need... Ah, look at that. You need clothing fabrics. And here we need a carpenter and some fiber plants. A wooden bow fiber plant. So you can see how cotton becomes really important really quickly. We need a level one carpenter to make wood swords. Ah, balls. Seriously? Here's our farmer. He leveled up. Very good. Let's give him a couple of points in here. And Alex Gusto. You have leveled up for the very first time. You are Irby. Oh, look at that. He loves... Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to give him all that jazz. And it's going to make him happy because he's going to be happy being awesome. So let's see. Our Lumberjack is level 4. So we should be able to now upgrade him. Uh, let me see. No, not a builder. Will we leave him a Lumberjack? What happens when we set him... Um, Select a new profession. So if we're going to say carpenter, you will need a carpenter for many things. Most of your furniture is crafting wood-based weapons. It requires a worker's workbench. Does that mean we then don't have a lumberjack anymore? All right. I don't know if this is by design or if that is a book, but we wear a level 4 lumberjack. 
But I think it's by design because I read right here when I was switching his profession over, it said, there we go, set as current. If we say set as current, it says, if you change the profession, the link will lose the current profession progress, which kind of begs the question, how do you then, um, oh, let's make sure we're going to tell him to pick that up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They need $40 and they will give us 40 wood logs. Uh, that's the cost of a ling, and then we have 280. Um, no, we have enough wood logs. We're okay. Let's see what our lumberjack is doing. He's hopefully leveling up really quickly now. Lumberjack level one. So we only need a level two lumberjack. So that hopefully shouldn't take too long. Where is he? Let's chop down some trees. Good, sir. He's now level two. Awesome. So he's now level two lumberjack. We should be able to switch him over to carpenter so set as current yes baby that is awesome okay go get your carpentry stuff lumberjack where does it say carpenter come on get in there get your gear get your gear carpenter awesome so what we can do now is we can check if we can now make the sculptor's workbench oh we have a carpenter now which means we should be able to Oh, fiber plants. Can we make fiber plants yet? Do we have any? Yes. Oh, love it. Look at that. Nice. Oh, we're going to do that. And then we're going to make a well so we don't get into trouble. And then we also should be able to make our first weapons, which are here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, look at that. It's all in the making. It's all in the making. Very nice. I love it. We have two people working. And there's our sculptor's bench. Nice. And can we make our well? Oh, it is. There we go, nice! And then we can make a couple of more bricks. Yeah, and some more wood planks as well for good measure and some more fibers. But we're going to do it all in that order. Very nice. I love it. This is fantastic. That is all in all, not a bad start. Like Oh, like I said, we have to mark these guys for harvest, I think. Oh, they're not ready yet. Okay, fair enough. And we also don't have a lumberjack. Who's smoking? I hear something go blub, 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 blub. Anyway, all in all, not a good, uh, not a bad start at all. Look at that, butterflies and everything. This is an awesome day. This is only day two. And it's gonna be sunny for another couple of days. We're gonna have to start thinking about making buildings like houses and uh, go from there. Oh, this well is taking a long time to build. But you know what we already have ready? We already have our sculptures bench ready, which is absolutely fantastic. It's in here, is it? Yes, look at this baby, nice. Once the well is finished, we're gonna put it down. And we're also gonna make another workbench just as a backup because if we have fire set to something and we can't craft anything anymore, then we are screwed. So let's put that workbench right here. And he should be doing... Oh, what is that? A clay bowl and a clay flask. Ooh, $200. Oh, that would be nice. But I don't know how to make a clay flask. A clay bowl, I know. But you know what? I refuse for the moment because I have no idea. So let's check that out, actually. Clay flask is sculptor's workbench and clay. Clay bowl. How much clay do we have and where do we get it from? We have a full inventory nearly. Clay. We have 35 clay. It must be coming from mining or something. I don't know. You don't have any shops here. <laughs> He's complaining about the shops. Can we pick that stuff up now? Yes, look at that. It's ready to be harvested. Nice. That is awesome. Okay, I hope the guy's gonna sleep well. They're gonna sleep outside, so their mood is gonna go down, which is gonna be a problem. We're gonna have to build them some tents and basically make them feel better about themselves. Oh, man, it's gonna be a task and a half. Anyway, for the last time, for the third or fourth time, we're gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. This was not a bad start. I hope you enjoyed this game. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. All right, look at this. We have our well. Nice. That is good. Yeah, we definitely want a well. Um, the town well should go in the middle of the town. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. We have a well now. Fresh water. We have food. Everything's hunky-dory. Very, very nice. I love it.